guys, what's up? It's Heather LaBoss here, and I thought that I would make another video for you guys sharing some tips about doing portrait work, but this time in color, because I don't know about you, but I love working in color, and I've sure come a long way since high school, and I want to share my tips with you guys. If this is your first time seeing my mug, well, hello there. I make other art tutorials and art vlogs on this channel, so if you would like to check those out, you can do so and subscribe if you enjoy them. I did this piece using colored pencil and marker, so I was mixing some medias up. This is something that I feel like is really tempting when you're first starting to use um, colored pencils or anything like that for drawing portraits, is you might be tempted to use one color for the entire skin. And what this ends up doing is it makes it very flat. I remember I was really excited because I felt like it gave this nice caramelized finish to the skin, but the thing is, is there is no dimension to it. So you have a lot more color variation going on to really make it realistic and pop out. I'll give you an example of another piece that I did and this was done, I mean, this isn't the same medium because I was using oil paint which is amazing and my colored pencil with this and as you can see there's a lot more colors than just one color going on in the skin. In fact, I used colors that you probably wouldn't think about using. I think I have some blue going on in here, got some orange. You're going to tell me that the mouth is messed up in this portrait. I am aware, so let's just not look at that. <laughs> you can see this is a tip that I don't know why. I struggle with this still today. I make my hands very small. Your hand is supposed to be around the same size as your face as kind of a reference. Think about it. Put your hand to your face. It's... Well, okay, not your whole head, but do you know what I'm saying? It should be a lot bigger. Right here, what do I have? A little T-Rex hand going on. So just keep that in mind. Thinking once more again about shadows, this is really glaringly obvious when it comes to his little shades because there, there's nothing going on, it's just, I just filled this in with marker. So if I came in and I add a lot more highlights and stuff like that with a gel pen or something else, I don't know, a colored pencil that's white, it would have really popped that little area out a lot more. I'm pretty sure I did this drawing a year or two after the previous one that I showed you that was also done in color pencil. And there's some things that I could also fix up on this piece. If we go back and do the eye trick where you're supposed to have an eye in between the eyes, you can see that they are off-centered, but I also have too much room going on. This little tip that I have for you guys that is really nifty. So when you are drawing a face, you're going to want to have half the face and then the other half of the face be almost the same length. I know that doesn't make sense, it's going to seem like you're going to have this giant alien head, but just trust me on this. Let's move on to the skin. I remember I was really trying hard to get my technique down, so I'm definitely going to give myself some brownie points for that. I really was trying to get in there and add some shadows. But I will give you an example of a piece where I feel like this was better done. So over here, I have another color portrait piece. And as you can see, the skin is smoothly blended in, and you have these different colors and tones going on. I'm sure I did not actually use any different colors. See how they're all very warm? And it would have helped me out a lot if I experimented using different colors that I wouldn't necessarily think of pairing with the skin color. For instance, over here, we have some yellows, we have some pinks, and it really makes it pop out a lot more. I think I even have some green tones going on and some purples, but it does look cohesive. It doesn't. Another common theme of mine is to bold out those outlines. So that's definitely something that I would have wanted to fix now that I know more about drawing with color pencil. I would have come back in and really built up layers instead of just drawing in the nose as you can see with this portrait, it was faded in, and it was a lot more gradual than just drawing in these lines. I feel like either of these portraits are necessarily a great example of eye detail, but that's definitely something that I would recommend, is look at all of those little abstracted shapes that are in the eye. It's really crazy, it's almost like you're looking at the universe, and it's hard to do when you are drawing this small portrait. It's easier when you have a larger area that you're working with and that's definitely something I would actually recommend. Take some time to draw a larger portrait and you'll be able to get those features down a little bit easier because when you're working very small it's really difficult to be able to do that. I covered the big key things that I would definitely recommend that I think would help you guys out. 
So there you guys go. I hope that this video helped you out. And if you gave it a thumbs up, I really appreciate that. Thank you for helping support my channel. I have to say before I go, thank you so much to all of you guys who filled out that survey. It really means a lot to me. Your responses were just so personal and I can't thank you enough. Wishing you the best of luck on all of your portrait drawings. Don't give up. It does take a lot of time to get the hang of, but I believe in you. Mwah. I just wanted to point out to you guys, if you like this video and want to see another one like it, I actually have a whole video where I'm critiquing my work that's in black and white, so you can feel free to click that video. I'm still in the process of responding to all you guys' comments from this week, and I just wanted to let you know that you're really building me up and making me feel great. I've had a hard week, and you just put such a big smile on my face. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Mwah! My hat that had for corners, for corners had my hat that ate my cat.